hiya in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this AEW championship cuff and um, so it's quite simple to do to start off with I actually just drew the outline of the AEW championship belt and I'm going to use one of these aluminium trays um, to actually make the plates of it so it's an upcycle craft as well so I'm just going to cut out the bottom part because that's the most flat part and I'm going to use that so these aren't like super thick or anything so you can cut them with normal scissors you don't need anything special so the edges can get a bit sharp so be careful okay so once you've got that you want to flatten it out if there's any like deep creases in it you can use like the back of a spoon and like rub it over and it will flatten out nicely so I'm going to flip over the AW belt so the back is facing upwards, so everything's backwards. And I'm going to tape this on to the foil. Just to hold it in place. And then I'm pretty much just going to be embossing the details onto it. So you're going to need a hard surface and then something soft, so maybe like a sheet of felt. We're just starting to give it a bit of cushion so when you press down on it it actually does make leave an indent if you do it on a hard surface it won't leave as a big indent I'm going to use these these are really cheap embossing tools they just like got little balls on the end of like a stick thing <laughs> needle I don't know anyway they're only like a couple of quid from the range you get different sizes for the different details so I'm going to take a fairly small one and um, I'm going to start off with the outline of the main plate so I'm going to gently press down you don't have to go super hard with it but I'm going to press down and just follow the lines round and then when I flip this over you'll see it's actually dented it so it actually sticks up from the back so it's a bit more 3D and I'm basically going to do this for all the little details so I'm doing that I'm filling in the AEW as well and it will take time and you can do this exactly the same way but on a larger scale to actually create a, a, a real life size replica so as you can see this is what it looks like when you turn it over and if you get like a small really small embossing tool you can actually go around the outside on the other side of it and it just defines it that bit more also if you don't have embossing tools you can actually use a pen that's like run out so if you've got like a biro pen and it's got no ink in it you can actually use that in the same way because that works just as well so you don't actually need these tools but they're, they're, they're really cheap so it's, might as well get them if you can find them so I'm going to do the championship plates and everything now, fill in all the other little details. There's quite a lot of detail in this so I couldn't actually do everything on this small scale. But I've done as much as I could. And then again flipped it over and then just defined some of those details. So once you've done that, you can then peel off the tape, I just use mask and tape, not actually proper cellar tape so it's easier to peel off. Then you're going to cut round the outside of the plate and then again be careful because it doesn't get sharp. Then I'm going to take a thin sharpie and just outline the AEW, just add a bit of colour because it's not just plain silver this one there is like a black lining around the AEW and then there's bits of gold in it as well which again I'll be using a permanent gold marker and I'm just going to colour in the bits that are gold with some of it because like they're just so, so small details like the actual word world and championship um, just hold the pen very lightly over the top of it and just like 
you can um, just basically pretty much just graze the top of the bit that's sticking out and then that will actually cover it nicely rather than pressing too hard and then you get too much ink on there. So do the exact same thing with the side plates as well. And then I've got a bit of black leather here, it's not real leather, it's fake. And I'm just going to glue the plates in place before I actually cut out the belt shape. Because knowing me, I'll actually get the belt shape the wrong size and the plates won't look right. So start off with the main one and then put the side plates on. And then now all that's left to do is to cut out the actual belt. So for this I'm actually going to leave quite a bit of um, space either side. So I've got enough to actually wrap around my wrist. Like every other belt I've made though, the two sides don't come out exactly the same. So this is just a, like a really thin leather. But um, yeah, you can get it from like craft stores and everything. I think they usually sell it by the meter. But you can sometimes get smaller amounts. So now I'm just going to put it on my wrist because I know I've got too much. So I want to cut some of that off. just want to see how much I need to cut off. Trim it down slightly. It's really hard to do with one hand. If you've got someone to help, that'd be great. <laughs> so I'm just cutting off a little bit either side. And then I'm just going to use some hook and loop fasteners. These are self-adhesive ones. So you've got the hook bit and the loop bit. So I'm going to stick put those together, take off the sticky back on one side. And I'm going to place this right on the edge of one side of the belt. I'm going to peel off the back end of the other side. And I'm going to wrap it around my wrist. So it's the perfect size for me. And then stick the other side down. Sorry it keeps going blurry. The autofocus was off, so I don't know why it kept doing that. So just push that down. And that should hold itself. And now you can take it off and put it off. And wear it a lot more easily. And that's it, you're done. So thanks for watching. Again, you can do the exact same thing but on a larger scale to the full replica. But I was too lazy to do that. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.